Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. <clears throat> we are just doing a uh, very small quick stream right now uh, because I do have to work in about 56 minutes. So I'm just going to kind of continue on with some of the, uh, the mop up we were doing <laughs> that turned into exploring Kaled. Because apparently I made it here from Lake Siafra. We actually did quite a lot in the last stream. Hello, Rai. <laughs> and since I ended up... Didn't realize that for the last hour and 15 minutes of last night's stream that my mic was muted. I might gush a little bit about some of the, the things that I found. Also, horse. Horse needed for skull crushing. Skulls sometimes have wings. Oh, you're... Why did I get off my horse? No, oh, I frames! Dun, 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 dun. Boom. That was a whiff. No! Okay. There we go. <laughs> you know what? Since we're here, I'm going to see exactly how tanky that second dragon we found was. Because then I can take his heart over here to the shrine and eat it. <laughs> and after that, I think I might go for the Crucible Knight. Because he's another boss I need to mop up. And then there's that Asylum Demon knockoff by one of the minor Erd trees, too, that I couldn't kill earlier, because fucking rot. Where are you? There you are. Thank you for joining me this afternoon, Ryan. Ooh, you can hit his head for a lot. If you can get to his head. Decaying Exix. Look here, Essex. We take you down to Essex. They have lovely fish and chips. No! Do not hurt my horse, please. He is a good horse. Here, have some raisins, horse. You are fine. Trying to jump and hit the dragon's face might not be the best idea. Oh, dear God. Do not spray your poison rot in my face, please. Oh, God. Right, his stomps also spray rot into the air, so you gotta be careful. This dragon does a lot of poison damage. Need to stop going for your head. Oh God! Mm. Ahoy, Venchamus and DK. <laughs> I am having a very fun time. I will try to stab it in the junk, Venchamus. <laughs> okay. I still feel like I am not supposed to be in Kalid yet. <laughs> But you know, I, I stumbled upon, like, apparently the the Siafra River Lake connects the Mistwood to Kaled. And I came out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and Rai, I actually have something fun to show you. Uh, we're going to avoid this dragon just so I can show you something fun. Since I know how much you love Miyazaki's Poison Swamps. And you were worried about there being three poison swamps in the game? Well, Kaled is one of those poison swamps. Fuck off, Exix. But I found out something fun about poison swamps. That makes them so much more manageable. I mean, you can see down there, it's a huge fucking lake. <sighs> Did 
Oh, Venture Moose, thank you for gifting Rai a sub. That was so kind of you. You are awesome, my friend. But yes, Poison Swamps. This one's particularly nasty because it causes toxic poison. So yes, of course, running through there would be terrible, but if you get on your horse... Horse don't get poison. Poison Swamps in Souls games suddenly became way more manageable. Oh my god, Scarab. Damn it! It's teleporting Scarab. Where'd you go? Where are you? There you are. Oh, you bitch. These are the new crystal lizards, by the way. Oh. <laughs> it's like playing croquet. Who are you? Who, who are you? You are not friendly. You are definitely not friendly. <laughs> who the fuck are you? Whoever you are, you are trivialized by my horse. Except for when you do that. Oh! Screw off. Can't you see I'm dung beetle hunting? <laughs> oh yes, I found that out when I found a ruin in, like... Okay, I am here. I found that out over here, because by this ruin, this ruin is covered in poison. Also, this map is huge. <laughs> also, this map has an underground. <laughs> okay. But yeah, no, like, as I was saying, like, I might have to gush about some of the uh, things that I encountered last night. Particularly the boss in that underground area that I found was... Might have been my favorite boss that I've found so far. It was not challenging at all. I beat him in a single in a single try, as Venture Moose can attest to, because he was watching the whole thing. Oh, these enemies are so creepy. But... Oh. Have I become too overconfident yet again? Right, easy to stack. Buddy. Get your rot dogs away from me. <laughs> Oops. Ahoy, Mr. Drew. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. It's great to see y'all. This is just mainly a fucking around stream. I'll be back for like the real stream tonight when we were when we uh, find when we actually tackle the Urnia of the lakes properly. Um, who the hell are you, friend or foe? Oh, you're another one of these jerk offs. Let's get back to my souls. Closest bonfire is there. I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, you're fighting Sister Free? That's my favorite fight in all of Dark Souls 3. Have fun. That fight is a blast. <laughs> I can't wait to do that when I pick up my Dark Souls 3 playthrough again. That'll be... Oh, I will admit, I've never beaten her without help. Granted, the help I used was... Uh, was Slave Knight Gale, the NPC summon.
Stop disrespecting my horse. Came here for my souls. I stay to kill your toxic dog. Dogs that cause toxic are not my friend. Fuck off. Creepy centipede demon. saying we're gonna go teleport and fight the sentinel <laughs> the uh friggin crucible knight and it's just like ooh, ruins ooh, distractions distractions abound oh my god more centipede dudes this must be their town and rot dogs Ah, so you've gotten through to the, f like, through all the stages then, have you, Rai? That's good. So we got someone slapping a boss. We got someone horizoning. We got someone slapping a base. And uh, someone slapping around in Sekiro. So we got two other FromSoft gamers right now who are gaming in FromSoft games. Someone else playing an amazing open world game. And, of course, the sexy base man. Sexy Baseman Venture Moose playing us all through. Play that Tom Sawyer. Actually, if you can, play Shake Hands with Beef. That's that's a great baseline. But it's also less playful, so I don't blame you if you can't play it. I love how your horse can trivialize so much combat. Oh, the disrespect to my horse! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> this is what happens when I say, like, oh, I'm suddenly kicking ass with this mechanic, and then I get floored. I should just... I should stop jinxing myself. Ooh, that is a good skill. You'll get her, man. You'll get Lady Butterfly. If you don't, like, to be fair, I usually do up to Owl in... Her when I play through, I usually do up to Owl in Harada Estates. Then I go back, kill, kill Genichiro, and then I go back and kill Madame Butterfly. Or Lady Butterfly. Mama B. Papa Diddy Pop. Fuck off with your centipede arms. There are my souls. And your dogs that freaking cause rot. You know what? Oh shit. You can't. Oh. Okay. Nope, that was a bad idea. Guard counters are so useful. Now for you bitches. Oh! What am I doing? Someone refilled my Astus flasks. Ow! No! <laughs> oh.
Play that chunky funk. Play that chunky funk. Oh yeah. is terrifying. I should just go fight a boss that gave me no end of problems instead. There. Now. Are you still coming? Yes, you are. You'll keep coming like a low roar song. Stop that. I said stop that didn't listen god they're creepy I just want to see if there's anything cool in this village or if it's just death oh there's you too don't need you firing poison shots everywhere oh oh shit Right. Oh, no. Toxic. Toxic from the toxic dogs. That's not good. That is so not good. You know what? We're noping out. <laughs> nope. This, this, this place can, can suck it. I'm going to go fight that boss that gave me hell. He'll give me less hell than fucking... Actually, that's not that bad for poison. Can you just... Good boy. Nope. <sighs> oh, ho, ho. Oh my god! <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Continuing to nope out. This place is nasty. <laughs> like I said, I don't think I'm supposed to be in Kaled yet, <laughs> and this is just proving it. Ahoy, the Jew Cashew! <laughs> My Vag is doing great, thank you very much. He's been punctured many a time so far in this playthrough. And now he's going to get punctured again by something with wings, but I think I can kill him. Uh, Actually, this is the closest one to him. But yeah, we are going to take out that Sentinel Knight really quick. And again, thank you everybody for tuning in. It is great to have y'all watch me fail utterly and miserably. And oh, fucking something I for keep forgetting to do is use my golden seeds. I've accumulated, I think, like three in the last playthrough. In which, like, yeah, like, probably my favorite boss that we fought last stream. Definitely, that deer was, was so cool. Killed him instantly, but, like, everything from soundtrack to arena to, like, how you get to the boss, like, to the fight itself, just the way it moved, so cool. So cool. I need three golden seeds to uh, upgrade my flask further now. Where are we at now? We're at eight health and two and one magic. Which I'm fine keeping it that way because I do have light magic. So it's nice to have at least one replenishment flask. 
my golden seed is very important, and you know, it, it, you, you must spill your seed wisely. Or spend your seed wisely. Sorry. I wonder if that was a tumor. Where? <laughs> Way behind me. Alright, Crucible Knight. You don't like me, I don't like you, but I killed your younger brother in Stormvale Castle. Or at least the version of you that was not glowing. But he had all of your moves, your wings, everything. The only thing he didn't have was a bunch of anal beads guarding his cell. Like you do. Sentient anal beads. I have 10,000 souls. When did I get 10,000 souls? Oh, I know it is. Uh, I know it is. And, um, see, that's the thing. Like, I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. I wanted to do a bunch of mop-up first. And go into areas that I'd already done. Trying to kill bosses that I've already killed. But I will get to the Lakes of Liurnia tonight. That was my plan. But, yeah, I'm, uh, like, I'm trying to go in. Especially now that we're done with, uh got so many lunge attacks especially now that we're done with Stormvale I'm 100% blind and like I aim to keep it that way like I'm purposely avoiding watching everyone's playthroughs that I'm dying to watch who I know are all farther than me because I don't want where anyone else goes or what they say to influence my path because I think I've like weaved a pretty interesting path for my story so far I mean like I even injected a bit of extra George R. R. Martin. Killed Kenneth Height when no one expected Kenneth Height to die. Not as effective as I'd like it to be. I think I might swap that Art of War out. Oh! Got me twice with the same move. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Let's get out from this corner. Let's get back in the center. Come on, buddy. Wait, you can tank the stomp with a shield block? and the tail you can <laughs> oh is to be spent in seedless or seedful depending on your preferences you know what I can take it both ways ah! 
Now we need some sexy, funky chunk bass. Alright, Crucible Knight. I might go see if I can, like, up that to 17k. Put another point in strength and come back with a different Art of War on. Or Ash of War. Oh shit, wall. The stagger. I did not need to do that. Here come the wings. What? Tail. That was a good fight. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was fat finger heels. It was just I, I took a hit and my brain went, oh shit, that probably did a lot of damage. I should heal. And as I pressed the button, I looked at my health bar and went... That was a waste. <laughs> so yeah, um, actually, let's see if we can grind out an extra level first, because these giants are worth a thousand souls each. And they're pathetic at this point.
Oh, I missed his butt. It's okay. Though. Whiff, whiff, whiff. This is just a bad place to fight. <laughs> Wrong flash. There! Oh. How dare you fall with your critical point. In the wrong place. Y'all aren't giving me stuff. I don't even care about y'all. I care about him. And him. That was way too early. They will damage each other, too, if they get close enough. Fucking trees. Do me a favor, giants. Knock those trees down. Give us more room. Thank you. So easy to stagger them. <laughs> more get more like getting whipped by tail than chasing tail. You know what? I think we have enough to level. Cause I think I got the rest in consumable souls. And I have to work soon, so I want to get back to this. Ooh. Let's make a bunch of those, given the fact that that cures Scarlet Rot. And Kaled is swarming in Scarlet Rot. Ooh, I can make soap. Let's make soap. I also need to make more fire enemies. Okay, so where am I actually at? 18k, so I need another 5,000. Pretty sure I can make that. Uh, I don't know if I can make that, but we'll see. Oh, I can definitely make it. In fact, we already made it. There. Now that I'm not going into the fight with 10,000 more soul, 10,000 souls, I feel a lot less paranoid about it. Let's go kick that boss's ass. Oh. 
Oh, and I finally figured out the joke with the sheep. Why they roll. I know why they roll now, or at least in my head canon I have figured it out. Come on, rolling sheep. They roll because it's one of those jokes on like... It's similar to the, the joke in the inside joke in Catherine where the players are all sheep or humans are just sheep because players in Souls games roll everywhere and roll constantly. That's That, in my opinion, is why they made the sheep roll as a joke. Okay. I forgot to change my Ash of War and all this. Oh, I can do a lot more damage by two hand. Oh, why did I do that? You are so fucked now. I say as I get fucked. If that's the case, I am going to go quickly flip my Ash of War. I say as I respawn at the stake of Marika accidentally. You know what? One more round against him. And then if, if it doesn't work out, I'll flip off the uh, Stormblade Ash of War for... I think I'm going to go back to the, the Claymore's default, the, uh, the Artorius Slam. Yes, I do love me some Artorius Slam. Just like I love me. Some free hits! I think jumping R2s might actually be the way to go. I don't care about the fi 500 souls on the ground. No, the fully charged R2 is the way to open up that fight. Going toe to toe with him is pretty tough. You know what? Fine. I will unfashion souls for a little bit. Let's see if this is any better. If I put the boots on, I fat roll. There we go. Night to night. That's how this, how badass this guy is. He's making me take my fashion soles off. Get a little bit more AC.
no chill, this guy. But we got it. That was a terrible, terrible attempt. I gotta work in 15 minutes. We'll see if I beat him before I have to go to work. Shouldn't have gone for a fully charged one. That, that had a two strike. Oh! Whoa. Oh.
infinite stagger. Thank you. Thank you very much, Caleb's VS. Caleb VS. Oh, nearly got him. Nearly got him. Sweaty palms. That That's a tough fight. Tough fight. This is going to have to be the last attempt because I do have to go to work. But uh, I will be back between 9.30 and 10 p.m. tonight doing more of this. And, like, I'm getting so close to getting him that we got this. I got this. I just need to come in, I think, with a fresh mind. Poke you in the butt. Come on. Oh! Yep. Okay, one more. That was that was pathetic. And it's only because I was cornered. Like, I couldn't... I could have moved out and then tried to heal again, but... <laughs> oh, and thank you so much for the raid, Bello. Stream is going... Hilariously. It has been a uh, mostly fails against large scarier enemies but I did gain a level and uh, well this guy who gave us so much problems before I killed my first major boss continues to give us lots of problems but that's because he is a freaking badass Oh my god, dude. Wrong flask. Watch, I'm going to come back when I start my stream tonight and, like, knock him out in one try.
eat it! Gotcha! Thank you, Aspects of Crucible Ta Tail? Tail? The Jew Kashu? You were right. I was chasing Tail the entire time. <laughs> tail! I have to check that out. Did I just get his tail? <laughs> I think I did. Oh shit. This is not good. Oh my god, I lived. <laughs> oh, that was epic and that was a, that was a, the way I wanted to end this stream was with a victory. Yeah, when it came down to it. Two handing R2s. Jump attacks. Posture break. That posture break at the end was great. That was just so well timed. He didn't even give me nearly enough to level, but I'm not surprised. Oh, she's gone. Right, because she's at... Uh, the round table hold now. Oh, but she gave me a golden seed as she as she left. I guess to thank her me for uh, for getting to her chrysalids. Okay, let's check out this Ash of War. What's the scariest thing I've seen in this game so far? Hmm. Um, uh, even though it turned out to be something I killed in one hit, the thing at the bottom of Stormvale Castle that ended up being a reskin of a boss that I fought later was pretty terrifying, just in terms of how it looked. Uh, actually, no. Most terrifying thing, finding a trap chest that warped me to Kaled when I was, like, level 10. Uh, which is... Kaled is an area that you should not be running around in until you're about level 40. Let's put it that way. But that was... That was scary as hell. <laughs> Ashes of War. Okay. Um, oh, also, just because I probably should show it, um, for you in particular, Rai, um, where is the art of war that the Claymore starts with? It's none of those. Either way, I, oh, wait. I can't put the tail on a, on a sword. How do I get it back to its standard? Maybe by putting that on something else. So yes, I should have the default on the Claymore. It is the old Artorius Stomp. Oh wait, no, I'm... Fuck. I don't... I'm gonna have to figure out how to recorrect that, but... Okay, so what can I put the tail on? Because I want to check that out, like right now. Or, oh, no, no, no. The, it wasn't an Ash of War. It was an incantation, wasn't it? Crucible horns, crucible tail. Ah, yeah, both of these I got from Crucible Knights. I need 27 faith to be able to use the tail. 
creates a supple tail to sweep area for the caster. One of the ancient Erd Tree incantations creates a supple tail that sweeps through foes before the caster, charging enhances potency. This is a manifestation of the Erd Tree's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial crucible, where all life was once blended together. Okay, so I cannot use that yet. And, uh... Now that I don't need to fight badass McBadass anymore, let's uh, go back to looking fashionable. But yeah, so now that he's dead, when we come back tomorrow, I'm going all the way over here. And we are going to be exploring Liernia of the Lake. So you know what? Just so y'all can get a glimpse of what it's going to look like, I'm just going to go there now so you can see where I'm going. Also, it's a great freaking view to end the stream on. So this was the area behind the first major boss. This game never ceases to be gorgeous. And I'm guessing our next major boss is in that castle over there yonder. But we have all of this <laughs> to get through. To get there. And uh, now that I've pretty much cleared out everything I wanted to clear out in Limgrave and uh, elsewhere, there's another Everjail right there. So there's another boss fight guaranteed right there. That is an Everjail, right? Yes, it is. But yeah, this is how we'll be going next time. Thank you so very much, everyone who came in to catch this live. I really appreciate y'all having me. And like, this has been a great turnout. So thank you everybody for chatting. Thank you, Venture Moose, for gifting out subs. Mm. <laughs> That posture break did change the tide of the fight. Yes, Venture Moose. Or, yes, DK. Thank you, Bello, for the raid. So happy to see you all here. Join me again. I'll be starting up, as I said, between 9.30 and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. And we will be tackling Lierney of the Lakes. And for all of your... All of your joining me. Love doing this with you. I bow for all of the... See you guys this evening. Bye-bye. Ah. And praise the sun, Venture Moose.